we're back a lot's happened we uh, <laughs> we worked on the other side I realized I screwed up the other side had to redo it but we're now evened up and uh, good to go we won't get too close just to see because I had to repatch that one twice but <laughs> we're even we're good so that is done you actually see we got this thing all stripped down again I want the motor but we decided to keep the chassis because it's a really nice box chassis if we ever decide to four by swap something else or do whatever i don't know but uh for the plans for now is possibly this will go into the dodge so i think i mentioned that before we pulled it all off um i kind of kept everything that i feel i needed i don't know what a person needs out of this like i'm pretty sure it's gonna be i don't know <laughs> I've never messed with this. I decided instead of pulling the motor out right now, I'm going to leave it in. So I'll try to get it to fire up here before we pull this. And then the, the kid wants to sell the, the transmission and the transfer case. And then uh, we'll just keep this for stockpile for something. Maybe another square body swap. Who knows? We just, uh, it's good. Maybe we can find a diesel. This is a good setup. <laughs> Anyways uh back at this so fenders are finally done i think i have two almost three days just into both fenders now at the rate we went rider was helping me yesterday and then somewhere something didn't get lined up i, I think i did all the work and realized the fender was a, a scooch lower or something so that just kind of hooped everything so anyways no big deal fixed it all up so that means uh, the plan now is going to be uh, this is in where its place it should be. I'm going to take the box off and I'd like to try to prep this frame. Maybe do the brakes, go over a few things. Just try to get the frame done and finish up the box. I'm hoping I can get that done. We kind of failed 
added last time. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. We're gonna try. Let's see where we get. So first step, we're gonna pull the box off and then, uh, well, I don't know. I guess we'll blitz out and we'll blast the chassis. We'll kind of do that. Uh, what do we got going on? You've seen my other hoist, right? Uh, Rolly's actually working on his Essex. So this thing you'll be seeing around in the background. It's something I started a really, really, really long time ago. Somehow we bartered and stuff and I don't remember, he doesn't remember how the deals all went, but chassis here still needs, the chassis still needs a bunch of work. Uh, interior, like I had started all the floors, did all that. I think everything's like kind of tacked or zapped in place. We we're going to redo a few things because this was done. I think I started this before I was working on that thing. So this is so many years ago, I have no idea. But I did do a lot of work to this one. I had done a lot of the floors and the firewall. It was pretty, it's kind of ritzy actually. I think the idea I had at the time was I was going to run it full fendered, kind of like that one Model A I had. And I uh, uh, was going to raise all the fenders up, run it full fendered, but have it pretty low to the ground with a chop. I ended up doing the same thing to that Model A. And there must be some pattern because I haven't finished any of those when I started it. <laughs> all right, let's uh, spark up the forklift and uh, start removing some stuff here.
Alrighty, folks, you seen us pull the frame off? Well, us, me, whatever. <laughs> Anyways, we pulled the box off. We just set it up here. I'm gonna go through it there shortly, look at it. Um, the frame, you seen we, um, we stripped it down, all the excess, like stuff we didn't need, and uh, started blasting it. Uh, I pulled the bags and stuff out. I've ordered new bags. These have been in here so long, I don't know. I don't think the back ones, I think they had a leak or something. The front one seems good. They're staying up and whatnot, but I did order four new bags. I am, uh, I kind of went through, cleaned the frame. Here's where I find the limitation of that thing is because it doesn't have any media. Uh, stuff like this on the chassis, if it's really heavy, it doesn't, uh, it cleans the top of the rust, if you know what I mean. You can see here it blitzed it, it's clean, but. When you knock that heavy flaked rust off, there's still rust underneath it. You can tell here there's a lot of this flaked rust. So I've ordered another needle scaler. What I think the process for me with this thing, like that welder's gonna be is, uh, uh, like especially in here, like this is so heavily pitted, is uh, a feller's just gonna have to go over with a needle scaler really quick and then uh, then I could proceed to do that laser. So I don't think I'm going to put any, um, what do you call it? I'm not going to paint this yet because I want to needle scale this thing over, go over it one more time, then we'll blitz it and then we can paint it. That said, I see a couple spots here where the fr it's a little thin in the frame. So I'm going to do some uh, box plates on there. And I think this side had it too. There's a couple little pinholes over here. So I just want to beef those places up. Uh, I worked in here a little bit, but it was so greasy. It's taking it off, but it was just nasty. So I'm going to try to scrape that out a little bit. I'm going to replace the shocks, but I'm just using it to hold the diff right now. Um, what else going to do? I want to redo these plates because I did this so long ago and they're just ugly and they don't look good. I'm pretty sure I actually have some bag mounts here somewhere. I think when we did Austin's car, it had some mounts. So I'm going to see how those, if they just work. I can make something if need be, but uh, but I don't think it won't be for, it was supposed to be the next day, but Amazon lied. So it's going to be a few days before that needle scaler comes in. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm not going to concern myself too much with the inside of the brakes, like the uh, this stuff. So what I might do is assemble my rear brakes, get the drums on. I might have to cut them just because they got heavy buildup of rust inside. I do have a brake lathe, but I've never used it yet. So we might set up and see how we can do, uh, set up our brake lathe over there and see if we can do a fresh cut in these suckers. That'd be nice. So I think my next step here here is gonna be just assembling the rear brakes super quick. Um, I didn't pull any emergency brakes off because they're actually all loose. So I'm gonna repurpose them uh, into this chassis so yeah like I say I think the big picture that where that thing really shines is just this light scaly rust it just like you know the light brushed on rust if that makes sense like in here it's all you know I'm happy with everything it did there it's just this heavy flaky stuff is where uh, where that thing struggles a bit so anyways time wise I think I have about an hour and a half it took me to do this so I don't know. And I got to do it, you know, in my shop where it's warm. I didn't have to buy any media. Um, I don't know. There's wins, but there's a lot of downfalls too. So I don't know what to say other than it is what it is. So uh, let's get started.
All right, well, we've been working on here. She's not quite auto jiving by herself so much. This thing's not doing a full swing, I kind of noticed. So I pulled it apart and it kind of looks like we got something a little bit worn out in here. So my lathe doesn't have a four jaw, so I can't really pull that out. But we're gonna just fill this thing up with some brass and uh, we'll just try to shave it the best that we can and we'll stick it back in and see if we can continue working our brakes there. So we are back in business. This thing's working better than before now. So essentially that little piece you're seeing me play with, what it does is uh, inside of here, you can see that little thing spinning around. That's what we had to fix and file around. I couldn't get it in my lathe, so we had to old school it. So all this is, we're just doing a cut and cleaning everything out. We'll measure, make sure our drum is still should be good still, gotta check it, but anyways, we're gonna do another pass or two on there. This thing will just keep boogieing until either it hits the switch and turns itself off, so I like it. This one doesn't work, I think it's just the motor's bad. This one's for uh, rotors, but personally, I think if I'm getting that far taking a rotor off of something, I'm probably just throwing a new one on, honestly. All right, enough of that. Uh, Let's put some brakes in while that's happening. Well, folks, we have not gotten very far. Um, I'm gonna wire brush this. We'll put some rust paint in here and then uh, we'll do the brakes later. We got our brakes cut. I am super happy the way that thing works. We did have to fix that a little bit. There's still one spot a little worn out, but if it doesn't have too much tug on it, it doesn't, uh, it needs a little help going, but hey, that's what happens with old tools, eh? Anyways, those are awesome. Um, man, I almost feel like, I don't know if we have to cut the brakes on here. I haven't checked anything in the front, so we'll have to look at that later, but I have the bits. I'm starting to wonder if I should fix my rotor one so I can cut the front ones. Anyways, you've seen before, I brought in the frame table. What we got here, Rolly's car, we're kind of doing our thing here. And, um, well, it's uh, basically, I did a crappy job way back. The frame's all good there, but we want to redo the back because I'm not happy the way the suspension is on it, like the way the four bar is. So we're going to redo the four bar. We're going to redo the front. This thing's been pushed around the yard so many times. Things have been tweaked and whatnot. We haven't had anything permanently welded on it. Everything was just kind of spot welded in place. So what we're going to do later tonight is uh, we'll lift this thing up. We're gonna go shuffle the uh, frame table under there. We'll throw the frame on. And then I think the big picture is because we're gonna switch the diff out and then uh, we're gonna redo the Z and the kick. We're actually gonna bring this up a little bit because I had the four bars too tight before and they actually hung off behind a diff. And for some reason, I just don't feel that's right. It should be sitting on top. So anyways, we're gonna kind of bump everything. We might shorten the barms a little bit. They're already pretty short, but We'll see how uh, things fare out once we get this thing on the table and kind of get things squared up. I'll have to go grab a different diff. Uh, I thought this one was a van diff, but it's not. I think it's a pickup truck or something. The van diffs are wider, like by almost five inches. So that's what this car needs because these are these Essex Hudson's are huge cars. Because when you compare them to a Model A, I can actually take that body and it would fit inside of this one. Like this is a big, big car. And then I think later, because we don't quite need this while he's working on the chassis, so we'll probably clean up some of this, throw it on a pallet, throw it on the shelf for now, and then uh, kind of focus on just getting the chassis squared and set up. I know I did have a motor in it and everything at one time, but 
that was so many years ago and it was everything was just mocked up you can see here how i had the inside done and it was just for uh like the turbo 350 kind of hugged everything it was kind of the plan i don't know it was so long ago i don't remember what i did there but so anyways when econs we'll probably get that all set up and then i'll probably put some brakes in tonight <laughs>
All right, so I got all the brakes on. These are all done. I'm not going to mess with too much more there till I uh, get my needle scaler to play with that. Till then, I got these spots all cleaned up. Well, they're clean enough. I'm just going to plate over it. And, uh, well, I guess it'll be good enough. We got to do both sides. So, uh, can template that up and we'll just carve out a chunk of steel and away we go.
Well, that was a fun-filled night. So, we cut these uh, boxing plates out. Uh, those are all done. We did both sides. I don't know if I can see both sides from here, but... <laughs> Anyways, we got those done. I had to hand cut them because, uh, well, I realized I don't have internet on that lab, the computer over there and I can't import and do whatever I want to do, so we just just cut and did our business there. No big deal. I am hoping by the weekend here we have our needle scaler so we can kind of go through everything. Worst case, we might pull the front wheels, like we can put this on stands. Pull the front wheels, we'll try to clean. There's no point. Until I get the needle scaler, I don't think there's a point doing anything in the front. Maybe I can actually pull that apart and we'll deal with the front brakes really quick. Um, the only thing I don't know is we don't have that brake machine working over there that I can uh, like cut front rotors. So I don't know what these things look like. The drums are fine. Um, so those are all good to go. Um, yeah, I don't know. That wasn't very exciting what went on with the truck there, but hey, that's how she goes. Not everything works out the way we want. That said, Rolly's got some pretty good progress on his car. So we got the frame table in. How do we go about? There's a lot happened and I was just kind of lapsing a bunch of this, but um, the uh, we basically brought the frame table in, Rolly squared the diff to the table. We're starting with that. Um, and then we just kind of assembled stuff from there. I just wanted the diff to be square to the table so that when we get the, the, the frame on there, it's on and we just kind of have it loosey goosey all mocked up right now, but we're going to be changing things. We are just playing with testing like ride height right now and things like that. So we have it in, we got four and a half inches of travel. That's the idea. Um, again, I talked before about the bars and stuff, so we're going to deal with all that, but Anyways, it's on the table. The diff is squared. Uh, eventually, the next steps will be once he's done, you know, looking at it, taking pictures, doing his thing. <laughs> he's uh, going to square because I know the frame actually had had an axle in here. And this is like where I was mocking stuff up. So we're going to like get him to square it up. So the front axle, the rear axle are good. We'll square the chassis to it and what we think will be ride height. And then we'll kind of zap the frame down. He wants to redo the front horns. We're going to kind of do that. We're going to put some gussets into it. Um, we're going to redo the rear suspension. Uh, yada yada. There's a whole bunch of things going, but... I don't know. Do you like it when I smash things together? Or should this be like a separate build that we kind of dump? I can always just give little updates because it is Rolly's project. I'm just helping him figure stuff out, so... He's kind of like plugging away a little bit. He's kind of cool with me doing the time lapse thing. He doesn't really like being on camera, but um, I don't know. Why don't you guys let me know what you think? Should we, uh, do we just tag this along with my project or do I just kind of save up some of that and then we kind of just dump a film, a video? I don't know, it's kind of up to you guys. It doesn't matter to me, but you decide. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's cool just to do little snippets of like my friends working on their stuff in the background. That's kind of cool in my eyes, but hey, maybe we save them up. We just do one little one video or something. I don't know. Again, up to you folks. Anyways, I think, uh, man, this was not very exciting, but uh, I think this is where we're going to leave this one. It's uh, I'm waiting on some parts and some other stuff. I think next round we'll actually get into the box and we'll toy with that thing a little bit. Uh, maybe start doing some body work. I don't like to say that, but I think we're about there. <laughs> At least on this side. There's a bunch of welding, like a lot of little things I've been missing and have to fix, um, finish up, which I keep talking about. But I think I just want to start tackling a bit of body work and get a little bit of primer on stuff so it's not so overwhelming when I just come to doing the whole thing i think just doing little chunks of it will make it a little a little easier for a feller um yeah i don't know now that i think about it i think we have to step into that step side that step and thing so i don't know hopefully the needle scaler comes soon we can get a little bit of paint we'll get a little bit of paint in here we can kind of weld it we'll drop it back on and then we kind of just deal with stuff i don't know what well 
I loosely have an idea for a color, so I don't know. I, I guess things are going to come apart a lot of times yet. I don't know. I, uh, well, you know how I go. I have a loose idea what I want to do, and things always change. <laughs> Anyways, folks, I think that's where we're going to leave it, like I said before. As always, I want to thank you all for watching, and we will catch you on the next one. Later. <laughs>